It may only be September, but Minnesota lawmakers are already gearing up for next year's legislative session. And today, that preparation brought them to Rochester. Members of the Senate Housing Committee spent the day touring the Med City's low-income housing options. Our Alex Cotter joined them on that tour. Alex, why was it so important for this group to visit Rochester today? Yeah, Maisie, a lot of the talk on the tour today was that Rochester has been a great model at addressing low-income housing. While officials agree that it's still a problem, Rochester is continuing to work on solutions. The site here to the left is our greatest opportunity. Senate Housing Committee Chair Lindsay Port, along with Liz Bolden and community leaders, started the day at City Hall and then visited housing properties, including the old dormitory for Luther College and the riverfront parking lot near City Hall. It's been great to, to welcome the committee to see what we are doing in Rochester, and, and we know there are um, needs for affordable housing here in our community, and we are making progress uh, to meet those needs. It is definitely one of the components that we like to see in this development. The city offers incentives for developers and property owners to make affordable housing more successful while offering a variety of places to live. But Senator Port says it's not just about finding people a place to live, it's giving them tools and resources to become more financially stable. This year's omnibus bill provided $40 million to make this happen. To help build collaboration there to figure out what ways we can make those systems easier so folks don't have to go to three different places to get the services that they need. And there's one place in Rochester that's doing just that, the Jeremiah program. JP offers housing to single mothers and their kids while also providing them access to college education, financial services, and child care. I think that really is the future of when we think of affordable and supportive housing. It has all of those pieces connected. The two senators are excited for the next legislative session to discuss housing and use Rochester as an example. I think really, you know, our focus is, is uh, you know, impacting housing for folks, making sure that everyone across the state has affordable, accessible, um, stable housing. And, and the work that we are doing here in Rochester to make that a reality for more people, I think is a model and, and a process that can be, um, you know, influence uh, other communities across the state. Outside one of those new projects, these are the old Luther College dorms actually, and the city plans on making this into a shelter. It could house anywhere from 80 to 100 people and provide them resources to get them back on their feet and get them a roof over their heads. Maisie?